Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, which is Claydesk. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of data engineering. Now, whether you're a tech enthusiast or considering a career in data engineering, this video is going to give you an in-depth look at the daily roles and responsibilities of a data engineer. We'll also cover some real world use cases, a complete roadmap to becoming a data engineer and the certifications you need to stand out. So let's get started. All right, so understanding the roles, responsibilities, and career roadmap. First, let's understand what a data engineer does, right? Now, data engineers are the architects of data systems. They design, build, and maintain the infrastructure that allows organizations to collect, store, and analyze large amounts of data. Now, this role is crucial in today's data-driven world as businesses rely on data to make informed decisions. That kind of makes sense, right? So the data engineering lifecycle includes basically data collection, data storage, data processing, and then of course delivery. Now each stage requires a unique set of skills and tools. Now let's break down the daily roles and responsibilities of a data engineer. Well, first is the data pipeline. What does that mean? Well, data engineers design and build data pipelines to automate the extraction, transformation, and loading known as the ETL, right, in common of data from various sources into a data warehouse or data lake. They also use tools like Apache Kafka, AWS Glue, for example, or Apache Airflow. Second is the data warehousing. Now they also create and maintain data warehouses and data lakes using platforms like Amazon Redshift, for example, or Google BigQuery or Snowflake. Now this involves ensuring data is stored efficiently and securely. Third is data modeling. Well, data engineers work on data modeling on structure, the data in a way that makes it easy to analyze. Now they use tools like ER Studio or DBT, which is data build tool. Then data engineers are also responsible for data integration. The integration data or basically integrating data rather from different sources is a key responsibility or I'd say about core responsibility. Now this might involve APIs, databases, or third-party data sources. Then we have performance optimization. Now, data engineers are basically keen on optimizing performance of the entire system or platform. Now, optimizing the performance of data systems is critical. Data engineers monitor and tune systems for speed and efficiency using tools like AWS CloudWatch, for example, or Datadog, that's the third party. Collaboration is also important. Collaboration with other data scientists, for example, or data analysts and other stakeholders is essential. Data engineers need to ensure that the data is accessible and usable for analysis and reporting. Then we have data systems. I briefly highlighted earlier, but this is important too, because data engineers build systems that can automatically collect, store, manage, and analyze data sets. Now, these systems make the data easier to digest so that other data scientists and mathematicians, for example, can identify trends and patterns. Not only that, there are other roles and responsibilities that, of course, depending on the enterprise company or organization that you work for, but typically these are the core areas that you would be working on a daily basis. But let me highlight some of the other ones in my experience. For example, data visualization, right? Data engineers, they create charts, graphs, tables to help people easily understand the information they're presenting. And last but not least is data quality. Data engineers look for ways to improve data quality and reliability. They also ensure the data is, you know, privacy is maintained and whether the data is stored on premise or in the cloud. All right, some of the use cases for data engineering, right? First is of course, e-commerce. In e-commerce, for example, data engineers build systems that analyze user behavior to recommend products. For example, Amazon's recommendation engine is powered by data pipelines that process vast amount of user data. Then you have financial fraud detection because banks, for example, can use data engineering to detect fraudulent transactions in real time. Now, data engineers here create pipelines that analyze transaction data and flag suspicious activity. Another use case would be for example, in healthcare analytics, right? In healthcare, data engineers can develop systems to analyze patient data, improve diagnostic and treatment plans. 
All right, so if you're interested in becoming a data engineer, here's a quick roadmap guide for you. First, you need to have an educational background, start with a degree in computer science, but in IT world, that may not be necessary anymore, right? Your skills and certifications are important. So, but if you have a degree or if you're working on a degree, that's perfectly fine. So understand the basics of programming and databases is essential. Then you need to learn some programming languages, right? So for example, like Python, Java, and SQL. Now you don't need to be an expert programmer, but at least have the fundamental knowledge of these languages and especially scripting. Understanding databases, right? So you need to get comfortable with databases and working with MySQL, for example, or NoSQL databases like MongoDB. Data warehousing and ETL, right? So you need to learn about warehousing and uh, ETL processes, right? So familiarize yourself with tools like AWS Glue, Apache, NiFi, and Talon, right? These are all tools that help you work with ETL operations. Big data technologies is also important, right? So for example, you can explore big data technologies like Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark, and Kafka. Now these tools are crucial for handling large scale data. In terms of cloud platforms, right, like what is the easiest cloud platform? Of course, it's the AWS. And of course, it's highly recommended because, hey, that's who we are. We're into AWS, right? But Google Cloud is also not bad. Or if you're into Microsoft, then you can work with Microsoft Azure. So understanding services like AWS Redshift, AWS S3, and Google BigQuery is important. But you can choose your own cloud platform and then gain expertise and skills in that. And of course, finally, the certifications. Consider getting the AWS Certified Data Engineer, uh, for example, certifications. The data analytics is, uh, if you have the previous certification, that's fine. But the newest certification is the AWS Certified Data Engineer. I'm going to talk about that too in detail so you have a better idea as to how to get started. All right, so let's talk more about certifications. The AWS Certified Data engineer or analytics, right? As I mentioned earlier, this certification covers essentially topics like data collection, data storage, data processing, and data visualization. So preparing for this certification involves hands-on hands -on experience with AWS services and understanding best practices for data analytics. Now, having this particular certification not only boosts your resume, but also gives you a competitive edge in the job market, and not to mention, of course, six-figure salaries that are typically provided by enterprise organizations. But let's dive deeper into the specifics of AWS a Data Engineer. Now, the AWS Certified Data Engineer, which is the newest certification, is great because what this does, it validates your ability to implement data pipelines and to monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize cost and performance issues with best practices. So essentially, if you get this certification, then you are legible, right, to get hired by any company because you have proven the ability that you have this particular certification. And let me go back and retract to the degree, right? So if you don't have a degree, that's perfectly fine because most companies today, they do not require a bachelor's degree. All you need is a few of these certifications and of course, some hands-on knowledge, and then you are good to go. So this exam validates basically how you're able to ingest and transform data, how to orchestrate data pipelines with programming concepts, and then choosing the optimized data store, design, data models, cataloging schemas, for example, and then managing data life cycles. You'll also be skilled in maintaining and monitoring various data pipelines, and of course, ensuring data quality, and then implementing appropriate authentication authorization, data encryption, privacy, and governance. Here's the little breakdown on what this particular exam, AWS Certified Data Engineer, entails in terms of content domains and weightings. For example, this has four different domains, so data ingestion and transformation covers about 34% of the exam content. And then domain two is data store management, which is about 26% of the scored content here. And then domain three is data operations and support. 22% you'll get asked questions regarding data operations and support. And finally, the domain four is data security and governance. 18% of the exam content will be part of this AWS Certified Data Engineer Certification. All right, great. So 
there you go. Now you have a solid understanding of everything that you need to know about the daily roles and responsibilities of a data engineer. And not only that, but also a roadmap along with the specific certification. I have a full course here for free on YouTube. If you want to take it, go ahead, search for it. You'll find it. I'll provide a link in the description below as well. So to wrap up, a career in data engineering is both challenging and rewarding by mastering the necessary skills, gaining hands-on experience, and earning relevant certifications can build a successful career in this field. So I hope this video has given you valuable insights into the world of data engineering. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit the bell icon for more tech career videos. Thank you for watching. My name is Syed. I'll see you guys next time.